Text to Video Generation AI is finally here, and you can use it on your own computer for absolutely free. And I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, my name is Kenyo AI Overload, and finally, there it is. We have finally access to a text to video AI tool that we could use on our own computer. We are finally there. Because yes, now we can generate full videos from text using a brand new free open source AI tool called Modelscope. And you can see here a bunch of videos generated with this model. And some of them for a first generation model looks really, really cool. Now obviously, again, this is a first generation, the results are never gonna be perfect, so temper your expectation a bit, but nonetheless, it's still a huge step forward. Now although this new model allows you to generate new videos, just from very simple text prompt, the one downside is that unfortunately, the final video result has a shorter stock watermark. But no worries, because of course, your dear AI overlord is here to save the day. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a very easy to use tool to remove watermarks from videos for apps absolutely free. So let's go. Now if you want to generate those videos yourself, you basically have three ways. The first is the free and easy way by using the Modelscope text to video synthesis demo on HuggingFace.co, where you can easily come here and write a prompt of a video that you want to generate. Let's say for example I want a cute cat playing the piano and then click on run. But then of course, unfortunately, since there are so many people using this, the application will very often return an error. And the only way to circumvent this error is to just keep trying. And even if you do, you will be put in a queue. Meaning that yes, you will have to wait a very long time for your video to be generated. Now obviously, if you don't mind this, if you have all the time in the world, this is maybe not a bad solution. I mean, you don't need to install anything, you don't need to pay anything. And if you just want to generate some very quick videos, this is maybe a pretty good solution for you. And this is the final result for me. And indeed, as you can see, this is indeed a cat playing a piano. Now, as I said, indeed, we have this Shutterstock watermark in every video, in every generation. But again, don't worry, I'm going to show you later how to remove it very, very easily and for free. So again, as you can see, if you don't mind waiting a little bit, you can use this absolutely for free. Just click the run button again and again and again until you are in a queue and then wait for the video to be generated. Now the second solution, if you don't like to wait, and you don't mind paying a little bit, you can actually use that same demo, but this time on your Hugging Face space. That's right, you can easily duplicate this demo, then rent a GPU on Hugging Face, and then use it privately yourself. And to do this is actually very, very simple. Hugging Face makes it very easy for you. All you have to do is just click on this button right here that says duplicate space. So then it will give you this little message that says that currently this space is running on Nvidia A100 large, but your copy will be downgraded to a free CPU you, possibly breaking it, which is why they will ask you to actually rent a full GPU for you to use. And for this, you can simply click on duplicate space, then you're gonna wait for the process to be complete, wait until the space is built. Okay, so now that the space has been built, it gives you this runtime error, which is absolutely normal because as I said, if you go to settings, you can see that it is currently running on the CPU basic option which is definitely not powerful enough to be able to run this demo. So you need to choose one of those paid options to generate the video. Now obviously keep in mind that the more VRAM you have in the GPU that you rent, the faster the video generation will be. But I think that for my case and for this demo, I will probably be using the T4 Medium, which I think is kind of like the best quality price-wise for this kind of generation. So if I select this, then add a payment method, and then click on confirm new hardware. Then wait until the building is finished. All right, so it took a few minutes, but now this private space is running on the T4 Medium GPU. So now if I click on app, I can now use the exact same demo that we used previously but I am now the only person to be able to use it. So now there is no queue. So now if I write a new prompt like a dog surfing and I click on run, now as you can see the processing start directly. No more waiting time, no more queue. And now in around one minute we get this result, which is indeed a video of a dog kind of surfing. So yeah, again, temper your expectations, this is still the first generation, it will definitely get way better with time, but for now it's still pretty cool. Also, once you're done, do not forget to go to settings and change the sleep time settings. And here you're gonna change from 24 hours to maybe something like 5 minutes of inactivity. This time you're not charged when you don't use the space. Okay, so now that we've seen how to use the Hugging Face demo for free and how to duplicate demo on your own private space, the final way to be able to generate those videos is of course to do it yourself on your own computer for absolutely free. 
And for this, it's very simple because we're going to be using a brand new extension for stable diffusion called Model Scope Text to Video. That's right, there is already an extension for automatic Nav11. And now, of course, as most of you know, you know the drill. You're gonna run Stable Diffusion, start your web UI, and be ready to install the extension. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, don't know what Stable Diffusion is, who haven't installed it before, you can watch this video first where I've shown you how to install Stable Diffusion on your own computer for absolutely free. So once you have everything installed and launched, you're gonna click on Extensions, click on Available, Load From, and here you're gonna look for Model Scope text to video extension. This is the extension that we're going to be using to generate those videos. And here you're going to click on install. Then you're going to click on installed, check for updates, and then click apply and restart UI. And now you should see a brand new tab called model scope text to video, which is almost ready to be used because now we need to download the models. Because of course you can just use it like this. You need to download the specific model scope models. So for this, you're going to click the link in the description down below. You're going to arrive on this page. Then you're going to click on files and versions. So you're going to download all the files that you see right here. Just click on each one of them and then click on download. And this will download the models onto your computer. And for the configuration.json file, you're going to click on raw, then you right click, save as, make sure that it does save as a JSON file, and then click save. So now what we need to do is create a new folder inside the models folder, where we're going to put the models that we just downloaded. So here from Stable Diffusion Web UI, you're going to click on models, then right click, click new folder, and you're going to rename that folder model scope. And then inside that folder, you're going to create another one, so right click new folder and you're going to call it T2V. And now we're going to go inside that folder. So then you're going to select all the files that you downloaded, control X to cut them, and then you're going to paste them right here and then relaunch Stable Diffusion. And now we are finally ready to generate those videos. So now you're going to click on the model scope text to video tab. Then you're going to put a prompt like a robot dancing on the beach. You can leave pretty much everything by default or select this low VRAM option if you have only 8 gigabytes of VRAM and then click on generate. Now, unfortunately, as of right now, currently this extension is giving me an error when trying to put the video together. But don't worry because the author of the extension is aware of the issue. And I think that by the time this video comes out, this issue will already be solved. But still, it is currently not even a problem because Technically, the frames of the video are already generated. Because if now I go to outputs, then image to image images, text to video model scope, then in today's date folder, you will see a bunch of frames. These are basically all the frames of the video that were generated, meaning that our video is technically done. Because all we have to do now is just put these frames back together. And it's very easy to do. Because for this, we're going to be using an amazing website called easygif.com, where we're going to be using their GIF Maker option. Just basically select all of your video frames, then drag and drop them into here, and then click on Upload and Make a GIF. It's going to give you a bunch of parameters to choose from, but just leave everything by default and click on Make a GIF. And as you can see, in only a few seconds, it created this GIF video. Then you can just right click and save onto your computer. But also, if you want to have it as an MP4 file, so as a video file, you can simply click on Convert to Video and then click on Convert GIF to MP4. And now you have an MP4 video of your robot dancing on a beach. And again, if you want to download this video, just click on these three buttons and click on Download. Now, although some of them are pretty goofy, like this video of an anime dog dancing, which is very, well, uh, very, very strange. Some of them are actually pretty decent, like this beautiful strong knight on a horse, which is well, not bad. The horse is really well done. You can definitely see that this is a medieval knight on a horse. So the video is actually really precise. It's really not bad. Or like this video of a beautiful girl dancing in the street, which is, yes, a little bit strange, but I mean, you do understand what's happening, I think. You see indeed a woman dancing or doing some weird movements, some weird dancing in the street. Or this very cute video of a teddy bear doing the dishes, which is again, very, very strange. But hey, it's still the first generation. It will get way, way better with time. Now, unfortunately, as you saw, with each one of those generations, you see this very ugly watermark on the video. And you can easily recognize that this is the Shutterstock watermark. And that is probably because this model was trained on free videos from Shutterstock. So then, how exactly do you remove a watermark from a video without destroying the entire video? Well, for this, we're actually going to be using an online tool called Any Eraser, which will allow us to easily remove the watermark from a video using AI technology. Now, technically, this website is paid, 
you're supposed to pay for it, but no worries because I'm going to show you a little trick. So first you're going to log in and create a new account or log in with your Google account. Then you're going to upload your video and then you're going to click on AI model beta. Then select your brush size and then you're going to carefully paint over the Shutterstock logo. Just be careful not to remove too much of the video. And then click on remove objects now. And now as you can see the processing was done successfully. So now if I click on download, you will see now that if I click on the video, you will see that there is absolutely no watermark at all. This is the before where you can clearly see the Shutterstock watermark. And this is the after, which as you can see this website very easily removed that watermark without destroying the quality of the video. Now unfortunately if you want to do it again and remove the watermark from another video. If I try to do it again and I click on remove objects now, you see now that it will ask me to pay. Now you can of course pay for this if you want to, this is absolutely fine. However, if you don't want to, here is a quick fix. You're gonna click on view site information, click on cookies and site data, review a list of cookies and site data in a new window, and then you're gonna click here to download the cookies from the website. And now if you reload the page and log in again and upload a new video, so now if I try to remove the watermark again, it works absolutely fine. And this is the final result. As you can see, absolutely no watermark mark in sight. Now obviously use this trick only if you cannot afford it and if you can just pay for the software because the results are actually pretty good. And there you have it folks, now you can generate silly and goofy videos using AI on your computer for absolutely free. What a time to be alive! So again definitely try this out because it is really cool. And there you go, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the one who supports me to make these videos possible, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye!